Hello beautiful people, my name is Sydney Black. I am a beauty and lifestyle creator on YouTube, and now I'm also a MediaWise ambassador. All right, so as a digital native, it's no secret that misinformation is becoming a huge problem online. It's really getting out of control, you guys. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys some tips on how to talk to your friends and family if they may have shared some misinformation. These tips will help it to not be so awkward, especially at the Thanksgiving dinner table. All right, so number one, be transparent and stick with the facts. All good fact checkers will share their methods and sources to support their findings. Providing a research study or an interview that supports your claim, especially if it incorporates sources that the other person trusts as well, will definitely do more to get your point across. All right, now let's say your cousin says or shares something that really gets under your skin. First thing you should do is take a minute to recognize that you're upset and let yourself calm down a little bit. Once you've calmed down, you can decide whether you even need to respond. I spend a good amount of time on social media as a part of my job, and trust me, you wouldn't believe the amount of insensitive and rude comments I get, but I can't respond to all of them, and I don't want to. In order for my sanity, you have to learn how to just read it and let it go. You don't need to respond to everything. Now, if you do decide to respond, make sure that you put your relationship with that person first. If they shared or posted something online, it's best to probably have a conversation with them in private, whether it's in real life, on the phone, or in a private message. You're much more likely to keep it civil and actually come to a place of understanding when you have the conversation in private. And lastly, be nice. Be nice. Don't throw any low blows or bring up anything that has nothing to do with the matter at hand. No one wins with negativity. No one. Be patient, be accurate, and most importantly, be okay with not trying to change the other person's opinion. It's way more important to actually listen and make sure that the other person feels heard because when we feel heard, we feel ready to listen as well. If nothing else, just remember to prioritize the relationship that you have with your friends and family. These are people you care about, so try and come from a place of understanding and compassion.